Hello and welcome to Mastercrafters. I am Rage Monkey, and this is my first ever appearance on the Mastercrafters channel. I'm really happy to be here. I hope you have a great time watching Four Ways to Trap Your Friends in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Let's get right into it. The first trap I want to show you is actually pretty simple, but packs quite a punch. Your friends will walk in here unknowingly, and they'll be trapped. And they'll see this cheesy sign. You have found my lair. Click the lever to get mini riches. They click the lever, and boom. They fall and take a dip in the lava. Let's get on to the tutorial. For your first trap, you're going to want a block of your choice, 10 sticky pistons, some redstone, a lever, and a couple of repeaters. You want to start out by building a 6 by 12 hole. You can leave these corners in or not. It doesn't affect the trap. You're going to want to come out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Place two sticky pistons. Go out one, two, three. Place two more. Then you're going to want to place four more sticky pistons in a two by two range facing the sticky pistons you just placed. You don't want to do that on both sides. Next, you're going to want to place two redstone repeaters going into the middle of these two blocks. You're going to want to take some your building blocks, put them behind the pistons. Then take your redstone and put it behind it. You're going to also want to do this on both sides. Now you're going to want to take your line and connect it all the way across. Instead of taking it right behind this thing, just take it to the corner and continue going. Right about here, you're going to want to remove this redstone and place a redstone repeater to get the signal continuing all the way through. You want to continue going with your redstone until you're all the way across the whole circle. Once you finish that, you're going to want to place two redstone repeaters going into these two blocks on a four tick. So you just click it tw three times. You don't want to do that on the other side. Then you connect it up to a source. I used a lever. You can use whatever redstone source you want. When you flick it, it pops up. When you unflick it, it pulls down. So then, what you're going to gonna do is you're going to want to cover up your area, like so. But you're going to want to leave this four gap open for now. Then, once you have the full floor replaced, you can do whatever you want with it. Technically, you do not have to push this floor. It just looks better to me. It's all up to you. All you have to do to finish it up is place two blocks there and there. And then, when you flick the lever on, it covers up the hole. When you flick it off, it opens up the hole. Then from there, you can place whatever you want. You can have a building here, and a cheesy message like mine was that pops them down into a hole with lava in it. Or you can use your mind and be really creative with it. This is a fun little trap to use on your friends. For your second trap, your friends will see this beautiful diamond block and they'll be want to take it from you. You're going to want to take it. You're going to see that nobody's around and they're just going to break it. And when they do, they hear the sound of TNT and then boom. It all explodes. This trap is extremely simple to make. All you have to do is dig down three in four corners, go down here, place your observer so it faces down, place your block of diamonds, and then place your TNT. You're going to want to place it in that exact order. Because if not, if you place the TNT first, and you place the diamond block, this observer will detect the change in block, and then send a redstone signal to the TNT and blow you up while you're trying to fix it. And all you have to do is get your grass, 
and fill in these holes. And boom, we've got trap number two. Now on to the third trap. What's trapping all about? Hurting your friends? No. Stealing their stuff? No. It's about trapping. When your friends walk into this building, they run into this, and they'll never be able to get out. They'll try so many different ways. Well, there is one way. If a friend's smart enough, they'll just break the pressure plate, and they can just walk out. But it's at least fun to try. To build this trap, you're going to want to start out with a little platform. You're going to want to dig down to two, place two sticky pistons, place your blocks, two stone pressure plates. You're going to want to dig down under this, place your redstone there, dig down on the other side, and place it in the same spot. There you go. Your trap's all set. Now whenever they step on the pressure plate, it'll pop up. Now you can build some sort of building around it, make sure they're always trapped. And they'll never be able to get out. On to the fourth and final trap. This one isn't as much of a trap, more like a troll. They see this door, and they're like, oh, well, we should explore this little place. When they step on the pressure plate, it closes the door, and they hear a little sizzling, and boom, it explodes. Let's start on this trap. This trap is, again, very simple to make. You want a pressure plate, you want to go inside, place your iron door so it hits the wall. But you're not going to want that to happen. Because they can just walk in and take shelter in the house. You're going to want to go inside, place it on the wall, so then it closes on them, just like that. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get, sometimes it's not. You want to dig down until you're right underneath your pressure plate, which is right here. You want to place a block of iron, a block of your choice, sorry, redstone. And then just place some TNT. And boom. You're done. Just want to fill in this hole. When they walk on it, they'll get trapped. They hear the sizzle. And boom. Blow some sky high. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you liked my first video. If you did, consider hitting that like button. And maybe just consider subscribing. All of our social media platforms are in the link in the description. Bye, guys.